Hi. Uh, this is the result of the kitchen computer touchscreen project. Uh, that's the touchscreen there, 19 inch wide LCD mounted to the wall. There's the mount. There's all the cables. Managed to get them running behind the wall, down behind the dishwasher below, and the PC itself is in the cupboard underneath the sink. There it is to the right. Some of the power and the cables back there. And it's just a pretty cheap dual core Celeron, a couple of gigs of RAM, little hard drive, utilizes network storage for all that sort of thing, video, audio, whatnot. Uh, it's running um, Fedora or a Fedora based distribution called Mythdora version 10.23. That is the GNOME desktop running Compiz, the Happy Cube. Um, <clears throat> Uh, purposes for online shopping, recipes, and a myth front end. It's got an on-screen keyboard. I've got no keyboard or mouse connected to it, just the screen and the touch uh, interface. Touch interface presents to the computer via a USB cable. It's an Eagle Axe chipset, and there's good Linux support for it, which is great. Um, this is uh, five, just standard Firefox. comes with Fedora. There's an extra plugin in there that uh, lets you click-drag. Uh, so you've got that sort of functionality, that's a recipe site, weather, and online shopping, it's just Woolworths Online. There's the current shopping list in the in the trolley. Just can click checkout when you're ready and it gets delivered to the floor just there, which is brilliant. So uh, yeah, the thing the box is connected wirelessly to the home network. It's talking to the um, to the NAS with all the videos on it and music on it and to the myth front end back end combo, which is just in the main living area. Next to the TV, there's the box there, just to the right of the TV. And uh, there's the front end into that. So I'll just have a, have a quick squeeze at Myth running. Um, and I'll demo the on-screen keyboard, which is just some Linux software that I found uh, for when you need to type. Myth TV's semi touchscreen friendly, as it wasn't designed with a with mouse interface in mind, more remote control and keyboard interface, but you can touch your way through it a little bit. Um, just watch TV there. The sound setup is just a um, an iPod dock, cheap one, that I'll just Velcro to the back of the screen, fed the cables through. Um, this volume adjusters on the actual amp itself, and of course you can use software. Uh, but once you're watching a, uh, a video or recording, you can't interact with the mouse. You've got to use the on-screen keyboard, which is just there. And of course you can move that around. Oh, there's Julian Assange. Funny. Um, and uh, yeah, you can just navigate with the keyboard when you when you need to, sort of thing. The keyboard will work with any application that's uh, that's got focus in GNOME. Just dispel it when you're ready, and that's it. Happy days.